Henrik in Norway writes to me, Hey Paul, I currently have a Gato DIA250 integrated amplifier. Okay, I don't know that one, but let's, let's assume it's a decent one. And it uses a Pascal Class D amplifier and a DAC based on Burr Brown PCM1794. That Burr Brown is a classic one. I think we've used that in several of our uh, earlier DACs. And I've heard a few DACs, and everybody tells me the difference is not in the chip, but in the circuit, okay? Yet, I always seem to prefer Burr Brown chips over others, but maybe that's partly to do with using Class D amplifiers. Can you tell us why PS Audio has chosen to go with ESS? Yeah, well, let's talk about that because, boy, we're all over the map on this. In, for example, our higher end DAC, DirectStream, there is no ESS, Burr Brown, AKM DAC chips inside. There we use a custom programmed FPGA that does the work of what a integrated circuit that's already made into a DAC does, and it does a better job than any of those off-the-shelf DACs. And I'm not going to get into that because we, we've talked about that before. It's like these DACs, whether it's from Burr Brown, AKM, uh, analog devices, I mean, there's a number of DACs out on the market, and they all do a really good job, but they are limited by the size of the chip, by its ability to process high-speed audio data and not overheat because there's a lot of processing going on. In a little chip, you can only produce so much heat. Like, for example, in the DirectStream DAC, our FPGA is huge. Uh, and, then the, and that's only part of it. Then there's the rest of the circuitry that's laid out. So that's what I would call a discrete DAC where we make our own chip. In our Stellar series, we have gone with the ESS because I personally like the sound of ESS. My, my two favorite chips, if we're going to build a chip DAC, is the AKM and ESS. Now, if I had to choose between the two, that's tough. Probably AKM. I think it might be just a little bit more musical, but AKM had a horrible fire that wiped out their, their semiconductor plant for years. So, I mean, the close alternative, and better in some ways and not as good in others, down to a matter of taste, is of course ESS, which is excellent. And why we chose to use it, well, I mean, that was basically the best available. Lastly, to your point about other people saying it's in the circuit. So every DAC chip is a digital processor and the kinds of filters they use determines a lot to do uh, and how they, they do their, their uh, SDM, the, the uh, Sigma Delta modulator and so all that kind of stuff determines a lot about how it sounds. But at the end of the day, it's what we as designers do at the output stage. Okay, that is what they're talking about when they say the circuitry. So any of those DACs, TI, Burr Brown, AKM as examples, can all sound different, but the biggest difference is going to be in the output analog stage and how we deal with that and the power supply and all the external stuff that make it all work. So yeah, and that's a whole other subject all to itself that we should explore sometime. I, I would actually like to do that. So, okay, hope that answers your question. Thanks.